Are you tired of the same old vacation spots? Do you have a crave a unique and rejuvenating experience? Look no further than Jethlava, the ultimate health resort gateway. Located in the serene mountains of Sri Lanka, this hidden treasure has been providing rest for, the, for centuries. With breathtaking views and fresh mountain air, you'll feel like you're in your world. But don't just take our word for it. Come and discover the forgotten paradise of Deutalava for yourself and experience the ultimate wellness and rejuvenation. Discover the hidden gem of Deutalava, a health resort that has transformed from a military base into a serene sanctuary. Enjoy the area's stunning natural beauty while rejuvenating your mind and body. With state-of-the-art facilities, including specific facilities and expert staff, most bungalow and villa resorts can ensure a safe and comfortable stay. Come and experience the tranquility and the wellness that Jetsalava has to offer. During the Motorsports Sunday, we stayed at the Greystone Villa Bungalow in Jetsalava, bordering the Bandarala Hapatale Road. The spot was so tranquil, with tall natural trees shading the villa and distant panoramic views that we decided to buy the property without hesitation. So, in a few weeks, we will own Greystone Villa with its surrounding landscape, garden and exquisite views of the valley and the mountains embraced by white clouds in the morning. Here I show a few captured morning shots of, of the Haptali range of hills grasped by the white clouds and the pictures of the villa's interior and the landscape land surrounding it. Decades ago, Jetalava was a popular destination for those seeking a health resort and a family holiday. However, this, however, the district fell into obscurity over time. Recently, concerted efforts have been made to revitalize it, including introducing an annual motor racing event and establishing a holiday resort catering to visitors seeking respite from the hot climate of Colombo and the western coastal towns. A century ago, Tiesalava served as a sanatorium for patients with tuberculosis. The climate of Tiesalava was particularly conducive to recovery from lung infections. From the mid 19th to the 20th century, Europe witnessed the establish establishment of sanatoria where tuberculosis patients isolated from the general population could undergo treatment programs and outdoor excursions to aid their recovery. Until the discovery of anti-tuberculous drugs like streptomycin for TB, the treatment for TB was limited to warmth, rest and good food. So in Ceylon, Dietalava was considered the most suitable place for a sanatorium. Now, how did Diyatalava become a center for mil military prominence. 
Jetalava first became military prominence when the British government opened a camp for 5,000 Boer patients for prisoners of war in the early 20th century. After that, Jetalava served in the Royal Navy as a sanatorium for naval personnel of the Royal Navy's East Indies Station. A military training depot was also established here for many then Ceylon Defence Force volunteer units. With the advent of uh, the, with the advent of independence, the Ceylon Army was formed on the 10th of October 1949, and the military area in Jaisalwa was the obvious choice to train the personnel of the fledgling army. Now, what is the history of Fox Hill in Jaisalwa? For Fox Hill, Naria Kanda in Singhalese is the venue for the annual Fox Hill Motocross launch in 1993 by the Sri Lanka Military Academy. It was named after the fox engraved into the hill by the British soldiers using the quotes scattered all over. History reveals that the British ruled most of South and Southeast Asia in the 19th and early 20th centuries. Towards the latter part of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century, the Boer War occurred in South Africa between Great Britain and the Dutch colonists of the Transvaal and Orange State. As a result, the British transferred many of their prisoners to various countries and colonies in South and Southeast Asia. One of the countries into which they brought prisoners was Sri Lanka, then called Ceylon. In popular belief, a group of these prisoners was brought to the country in the ship HMS Fox, which was quite old and as a result had to be docked very often in Sri Lanka for repairs. On one such occasion in 1913, the HMS Fox had been docked at, at the Trincomalee Harbour and the captain and its crew visited Dieter Harbour where there was a naval station. Whilst enjoying their stay in Dieter Harbour amid salubrious climes and environs that resembled England, the captain and the crew were fascinated by the idea of having their ship's emblem displayed on a hillock to remember their visit to this beautiful town, dear the lover. They walked up a prominent hillock in the area and with the assistance of the Boer War prisoners who were stationed in the lava, placed pieces of white gran granite depicting a fox and below it, them, it, it the name of ship HMS Fox, followed by the year 1913. Since then, this particular hillock has been called Fox Hill. Fox Hill Supercross motor races started in 2010 and continued annually until 2019. The COVID-19 pandemic stopped the annual races and recommended this year on April 21st, 2024. It was pleasant to see thousands and thousands of people under umbrellas waiting for the magic moment of the prominent sounds. Yes, the sounds were big and the racing motorcycles leap jumps thrilled the spectators with loud cheers and applause. Unfortunately, about 3 p.m. there was a big lull and the bad news was announced closing for the events. This year at the Supercross Rally, there was an accident and seven people died and the race was promptly suspended to the disappointment of over 10,000 spectators. Seven people have been killed and 21 injured after a race car plowed into spectators at the motor event in Sri Lanka. The crash occurred at the Fox Hill Supercross race on Sunday in the Atlava, an army based town. Among the dead were four race officials as well as spectators, including an eight year old girl, the army said. Police have arrested two drivers, though their conditions remain unclear. 
authorities said a full police investigation was underway into the crash on the army-owned track. The Athalava in central South Sri Lanka is a former garrison town where the military maintains an academy. BBC Singular quoted police sp spokesperson Nihal Taldua was saying the accident happened when the car jumped out of the running lane. There were over 10,000 spectators and they went home sad and disappointed. We were disappointed too and returned to our dream bungalow. So the night was spent at the Greystone Villas. Next morning, early walk was most refreshing. The staff was well trained to serve us with a smile. And the young chef gave us home cooked string uppers and rotis with spicy sambals, etc. We left after breakfast and the driver, Nuan, drove us back to Kandy. So, viewers, that was our long weekend. Please spend a few weeks in Jaitalawa for a great, exciting holiday, plus a pampered wellness program at this villa bungalow, Greystones. There is an end to all good pleasures. Hope you will share and enjoy this video. And let us pray RIP to those victims who left us this world. So stay safe, enjoy in life and goodbye for now until we meet again.